Oh, shalom again, brothers and sisters. This is Wendem Yadon, Rasi Adinos Teferi. And um, we're looking at uh, this art, this uh, vid here, this vid here where it says Whitney is in, is in hell. I told everyone this would happen. And we're trying to reload it right now. It's a very interesting video. We agree with much of what this brother is saying right here. Um, we have... Uh, in this video, Torrio talks about Whitney Houston dying before her time. Torrio predicted this in his 2012 uh, video. And in his video, he did about Don Cornelius and um, Heavy and Heavy D. And Heavy D, Torrio, speaking about these stars, will be coming up dead left and right because, uh, let's show more right here. Um, because they had um, turned their backs on God and their God-given purpose. And this kind of perfectly dovetails with what we have been teaching and preaching in our Torah portion readings and feedings, trying to um, preach the good news of the King of Kings and his Christ, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. But it's like many of the folks really don't want to listen. And this, too, is prophetic. Um, trying to reload this page right here, and it's it's not coming in. So what we're going to do is try to bring that back in again and go to another search. Um, because all this happening, we recall Bobby and Whitney in happier moments, and when they visited um, when they visited the black Hebrew Israelites or the Hebrew Israelites of Jerusalem, even met up with Ariel Sharon, you know. That was an attempt, we think, of them trying to get out the matrix, you know, get out the matrix. And for a moment, they had found a, a spiritual retreat along with other African Americans and, and Israelites and Hebrews who have um, begun that journey out of Babylon. Um, and some of these articles, this one we was checking out as well, and you can find a few of these, a spiritual retreat, and she was even baptized there in the Jordan River based on what other brothers and sisters, we've been talking about this, you know, pretty much because it's a real lesson for us as the once lost but now found Beta Israel. And what also happens when we turn our backs on the divine, on the divine call of God in our lives, now, for some Gentiles, non, non-Hebrews, black people, and Ethiopian Hebrews and lost sheep, even much of, many of the lost sheep can't really overstand. You know, they really don't comprehend the fullness. And unfortunately, the majority of our preachers and pastors are not even preaching the true gospel, the full gospel, you know, of who we are as Ethiopian Hebrews and what our prophetic roles and purposes are really in this time and they've been making up a lot of these drug and cocaine stories as well as other stories to try to separate you know divide and conquer you know to divide and conquer um whitney and and bobby brown you know because remember how to make a slave slick woolly lynchism they don't want the relationship of the black man and woman to restore to its God-given and its God-given way. And as black people are struggling, as they were struggling, in a sense, to go forward with their lives, you have to remember they were commodities um, to and for the system, you know, for the system that they were in, This the whole music industry, you know, which is a kind of a modern form of slavery, but many folks really can't see it. So they, in a sense, turned their backs on Zion, even the African Zion. And we see the effect of it, you know, with the death of, um, or the, the murder, really, you know, the murder. Cause remember, a lot of folks have had to sell their souls, you know, to get down, you know, to get down in this system. Okay, here's the vid right here that we were telling you about. Whitney is, Whitney Houston is in hell. And I told everyone um, from uh, Jesus Daughter 001. And so he, he speaks about it, that they, they would um, die left and right, 
because they are rejecting God. They're rejecting Jah. They're rejecting God and the purpose that he, the true God, have for their lives. And so they died before their time. So Tariel even spoke about this in his other video that was titled, Dying Before Your Time. This is all real. This is very w real. And Whitney is in hell. Almost likely, you know, she has not reached that spiritual promised land because of the choices. She didn't fully give her life to Jesus, our black Lord and Savior, and follow his ways. And we can see that she, even more so than a lot of other of us, you know, at least have had certain opportunities. And, and, and as we show right here, this is um, Whitney and um, Bobby in happier times before the Saw Yisrael gate, you know, the gate where they said the Messiah, the Messiah, according to um, Judaism, the Messiah is supposed to come through this very gate. And they were able to um, meet and greet the Ben Army community and also meet with uh, the heads of state. This is one of the pictures of the community right here, the daughters or the children dancing, performing, you know, a certain performance. You can see others of our people over here. We got Ethiopian, Hebrew, black people. We have African-American, um, black Jews, you know, and just as Israel is important to so-called white Jews, it's important to us as black Hebrews and as black Jews as well. Here you can see a picture. Hopefully it comes up. The machine's a little slow right now. We'll see if it if if this if this loads so we can show you a little bit a little bit more of this. But check out this video. We'll try to load things up. Check out this video, and we'll try to um get some of these these other clips together. But it's very clear. You understand that they rejected. You know they rejected God's plan, and this is the other video that we want you to check out, Murdered by Illuminati, is a must-watch, a must you know, and there's more, you know, there's more to this than, than, than meets, you know, than meets the eye. So, my brothers and sisters, until we uh, meet and greet and speak again, um, try to check out some of these articles out there so you can get a better insight into the half of the story that hasn't, you know, that hasn't been told, you know, um, Anyway, hopefully she can rest in peace, but we have to look at the, the full picture. You know, did Bobby and Whitney, did they reject the African Zion? It's, it's, our, it's our belief and opinion based on the information that, that they rejected. You know, they rejected the African Zion, and we're beginning to see, that's the video right there with the brother Tarillo. That's the real right there where he speaks about Whitney Houston being in hell and how he told everyone. And the message is basically simple and, and very clear. You know, the message is very clear, very direct. There's not a whole, you know, there's not a whole bunch, you know, of it that is that is hidden, that's not able to be understood. They, they've had that opportunity that they visited, you know, African Zion. They've seen people who have come out and been prosperous and gone through struggles. They they seen well adjusted families, you know, brothers and sisters who have moved on from Babylon. And it is it, it is sad, but it's a lesson. And hopefully uh, you know, we can learn from this um from this lesson, the two thousand and three visit to Israel and to meet the black Jews the Ethiopian, well, black Jewish community, the African-American Jews of, of, of um, the Demona, the Demona um, um, community. So, brothers and sisters, a little bit more to come. And uh, just, just recognize, you know, recognize this is very, very real. You understand? Did they reject? Did they reject Zion? Did they come out the matrix for a moment and then go back into the matrix? What about Bobby? And stop blaming Bobby, people. You understand? You know, stop blaming Bobby. Whitney, she made certain decisions for herself. 
you know, all the adultery with Ray J and, and other things like that and going back into the modern that scene in the Matrix movie. Remember the scene in the Matrix movie where where that is that man that want to get back into the beast, get back into the Matrix, get back into the system because he want to eat debtors. He want to eat a steak or something like that. And he wants to be plugged back into the Matrix. Is this a real live case in point of that? And we're beginning to see some of the the consequences of rejecting Jah's plan for your life and rejecting Zion. Something to think about, brothers and sisters. Food for thought. This is real.